What's up guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. Super excited to bring to you guys this disconnected men's haircut. I'm gonna walk you guys through it step by step. We're gonna be using the Paul Mitchell Mitch products to style them up. If you like the video, you like the technique, make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel because we got new videos coming out just like this all the time. Thank you guys for watching, here we go. Welcome to the video guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a slightly disconnected textured haircut on my model Jacques using scissors as my main tool of choice. So first things first, I assess the hairline, assess the calic area, really just see the growth patterns in his hair and then I start executing the cut using a scissor over comb technique. Now the basics of scissor over comb is to keep that steady blade on the bone of the comb or the bottom of the comb and then just run that comb up the head trying to stay as consistent consistent as you can. Uh, for me, it just gives it more of a handmade feeling. Now, if I'm going much shorter with the hair, then I'll grab a clipper. But when I'm really working this lived in textured look, I love to use uh, the scissor over comb technique. So now we're just going to work through the sides and the back, and then we're going to start detailing the outer perimeter. All right, so now we're gonna work that outer perimeter edge. So a little tip for this, I'm using my T trimmer and I just take the straps down on the mask and I have the guest hold the mask just for a couple seconds while I work around it. Now, if you're watching this video later and we don't have to wear masks anymore, congratulations. But uh, if you're watching this and you needed a little tip on that, just have the guest hold it uh, right there so it stays secure, but then you can work through it. Another little tip is working the hairline. You see that I kind of work the comb down to get my line in my head and then I work and draw that line with the trimmer and and then I clean everything up from that point. So this just works really well for me. So you'll see it happen again. I also take the sides with a little trimmer over comb, uh, but you can see I draw my line down first and then I go through and I scoop through and clean everything uh, with the trimmer. So we're just working this outer perimeter edge and then we're gonna start working on the calic next. All right, so now that we have finished the perimeter, we're gonna move on to the top. Uh, what I like to do here is separate the front and back right at that cowlick area where that swirl is uh, and pivot off of that using pie-shaped sections. I'm also gonna be creating a round horizontal line. Uh, and then another tip here is to point cut rather than blunt cut because that'll allow the hair to fall softer, uh, especially in these unruly areas. All right, so we're just gonna finish up. We're gonna work our way around the head shape and then we're gonna move on to the front half of the head. All right, so here is the kind of finale, the fun part of the haircut. What I do is I part it straight down the center and I'm gonna have a traveling guide to start. I'm gonna cut a line parallel to the floor and I'm gonna use point cutting to create texture. Uh, this is a traveling guide, so I'm not building up too much length right away. But then as soon as I hit that round of the head, I will start over directing it back, which you're about to see. So I just keep cutting through, point cutting into it. And now you're gonna see how I over direct it back. So each section comes back to that last section, becoming a station guide and pushing as much length as we can into the front to create that disconnect. Now we're going to do the same thing on the left hand side, working our way through. Here's a little top view for you guys uh, just to see it a little bit better. Know that my fingers are cutting parallel to the floor and I'm working my way through this same exact way. All right, so to finish things off, final little details, using my texturizing scissor to just blend that calic area in the back, soften the hair a little bit, take out some of that weight. And now you can see here is pretty much our end results. We're gonna start our blow dry using Paul Mitchell uh, Mitch Steady Grip. Uh, this has got a nice firm hold to it, but it doesn't get crunchy, which I really, really like. So I put that in the hair to get some control, gain control within my blow dry. I'll work that through, and then I'll use a final product to style it at the very end. So we just work that through uh, using the Paul Mitchell Neuro blow dryer, uh, my 413 brush, just working the hair up, uh, using that heat to kind of uh, elevate or create volume in the top of the hair. And then 
Once I get the hair dry, then I can start putting my second product in, which is Mitch Clean Cut. Uh, this is my all time favorite product, guys. Gives a, a nice little shine, uh, but also nice medium hold. Got a lot of grip to the hair, showcases that texture that we put into the cut. So I just work that through the hair and really finalize that style. You can see the disconnect, see that length that we put into the front of the haircut. Uh, it's just super cool. He looks good. Uh, Jaquez is feeling good. Uh, so I hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching.